Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2-80 from RC Hebeler Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, if F3 is 9 kN and theta and phi are 30 degrees and 45 degrees respectively, we have to determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force that is acting on the ball and socket joint. Now to solve this problem, first of all we have to resolve each force into its component. So starting with the F1 force, I can draw the projection of F1 force on XY plane. The projection would look something like this. Uh, let me label it. So this is F1 cos 60 and it is the projection of F1 force on XY plane. Similarly, now I can resolve this projection into the X axis and along the Y axis. So this is the X component of the projection. And this is the y component of the projection. Uh, let me label them as well. So, this right here would be F1 cos 60, and then it is the projection of F1 cos 60 along the y axis. So, it would be cos 30. Similarly, this one, this is F1 cos 60 and it is the projection of F1 cos 60 along the x axis. So it would be sine 30. And I have the z component as well. So the z component would look something like this. So this is F1 sin 60 and it is acting in the negative direction of the positive z, z axis. Now I can resolve the F2 force into the its component. So it has one component in the x axis And it has one component in the z axis. Alright. Now we have to find this angle. Let's call this alpha. This angle is same as that angle inside. So we can consider this 3, 4, 5 triangle. So we have this 3, 4, 5 triangle. So we have this 3, 4, 5 triangle I can apply the ratio of tan here so it would be tan alpha equals to 4 upon 3 and from here alpha comes out to be 53.13 degrees so it would be if I label it, it would be F2 sin alpha and this horizontal component would be F2 cos alpha. Now we have the F3 force. So again, I can draw the projection of F3 force on the XY plane. So the projection would look something like this. Uh, let's label it. Now this would be F3 
cos phi and it is the projection of F3 force on the xy plane. Again I can resolve it across the along the x and y axes. So I have the project this is the projection of F3 cos phi along the x axis and this is the projection of F3 cos phi along the y axis. Let's label them as well. So this is F3 cos phi into sine theta. Similarly, this horizontal component is F3 cos phi cos theta. Again, I have one component in the z direction. So it would look something like this, acting vertically downward. Let's label it as well. So it would be F3 sine phi. Let me uh, write it properly. Uh, this projection is basically F3 cos phi. So now we have dissolved each force into its component. So I can write them the F1, F2 and F3 force in terms of Cartesian vector form. So it would look something like this. F1 would be, uh, this is the x component and it is acting in the negative direction of the positive x axis. So it would be taken as negative F1 and F1 is basically 10 kN that is already given to us in the problem. So let's put the values directly. So it would be negative 10 cos 60 into sine 30 i plus I have the uh, y component, this component basically, and it is acting in the same direction of the positive y axis. So it would be taken as positive. So it would be positive 10 cos 60 into cos 30. And then I have the z component and z component is acting in the negative direction of the positive z axis. So it would be taken as negative. So that would be negative 10 sine 60 k. And here I have j. So when you simplify it, it becomes negative 2.5 i plus 4.33 j minus 8.66 k. Similarly, we can express the F2 and F3 force. So now F2 force in terms of Cartesian vector form could be written as it, is, it has x component and it is directed in the negative sense of the positive x direction. So it would be taken as negative 8 because the magnitudes of, magnitude of F2 is 8. Negative 8 cos alpha and alpha is 53.13 degrees. Plus 0j because it has no component along the y-axis. Plus the z component and it would be taken as positive because it is directed in the same direction as the positive z direction. So it would be 8 sine alpha and alpha is 53.13 degrees k. So when you simplify it, it comes out to be negative 4.8i plus 0j plus 6.4k. Now we have to do the same for the F3 force. So F3 force in terms of Cartesian vector form could be written as it has the component along the x direction and it is acting in the same direction as the positive x direction. So it will be taken as positive. So we have F3 and the magnitude of F3 is 9 kN, theta is 30 degrees and pi is 45 degrees. 
so it would be a 9 cos 45 degrees into sin 30 i plus it has the y component but it is directed in the negative sense of the positive y direction so it will be taken as negative 9 cos 45 degrees into cos 30 j and it has the z component and it is acting in the opposite direction of the positive z axis so it will be taken as negative so when you simplify it it becomes 3.182i minus 5.511j minus 6.364k all right so when i'm going to sum these forces my answer would be the resultant force so f1 plus f2 plus f3 has to be fr the resultant force so it would be negative 2.5 i plus 4.33 j minus 8.66 k plus negative 4.8 i the f2 force plus 0 j plus 6.4 k plus the f3 force that is 3.182 i minus 5.511 j minus 6.364 k equal to the f r so when i simplify it it becomes negative 4.118 i minus 1.181 j minus 8.624 k equals to the f r resultant force now to find the magnitude we can apply the Pythagoras theorem so it would be square root of negative 4.118 square plus negative 1.181 square plus negative 8.624 square so when we simplify it it comes out to be 9.63 kilonewtons so this is our first answer Now we have to find the coordinate direction angles. So to find the coordinate direction angles, we know that we have three coordinate direction angles. So cos alpha is equal to the FRx divided by FR. So alpha would be cos inverse of FRx and FRx is basically negative 4.118 divided by the FR and basically fr is basically 9.63 so when you solve it it comes out to be 115.32 degrees similarly we have cos beta it is equals to the fr y divided by fr and beta is equals to cos inverse of FRY which is negative 1.181 divided by the FR and that is 9.63 so when we solve it beta comes out to be 97.04 degrees similarly we have to find the angle gamma so cos gamma is equals to FRZ divide by fr so gamma is equals to cos inverse of frz which is negative 8.624 divided by 9.63 the fr so gamma comes out to be 153.58 degrees so these are our answers let me summarize it 
we had to find the magnitude of the resultant force and the coordinate direction angles. So FR is 9.63 kN. Angle alpha is 115.32 degrees. Beta is equal to 97.04 degrees. And gamma is equal to 153.58 degrees. So these are our answers. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. If you have any of the doubts or any questions in the resolution of the force components in this diagram, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.